Hey everyone, it's Eric Dorr here to tell you it's INFJ Celebration Week. So, this is the international week of the INFJ personality type. Introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging types can rejoice because it's your time. Your time has come at last. Now, you might tell me, what, what's, what's INFJ week? You know, what, what does that mean? You know, And th there is a reason why you don't know what it means. It's because, you know, actually... Uh, INFJ Appreciation Week is one of the rarest weeks in the world. It only happens like 1-2% to 2 of the time every year, so it doesn't happen often. And so I think you should take the time to feel extra special about yourself as an INFJ. And so to do that, I've started to produce special content for INFJs. And every day this week will be a new video about the INFJ personality type. So I hope you're going to subscribe and stay tuned for all the interesting videos that are to come this week. Now, besides that, I want to talk about five things that I really appreciate about the INFJ personality type. So, these are five things I think we should all appreciate about INFJs, and five things that I think you should appreciate about yourself as an INFJ. Starting with number one, I think your introverted intuition is something that you have to recognize and appreciate in yourself. So, what does that mean? You know, first of all, I want you to recognize that people confide in you, people respect you, people come to you for existential guidance. Because you have such strong and developed introverted intuition, you are able to make sense of the chaos and the complexity of the universe. And so when people feel like their life is a mess and like nothing makes sense, you as an INFJ have the capacity to make people feel like it does make sense, and like it all is connected. And so your ability to synthesize patterns and put them all together and to see the overarching developments of the world is something that I think you should recognize and appreciate about yourself. And it's something that certainly your friends appreciate about you. Beyond that, I think you should appreciate the effort that you put in to developing your extroverted sensing. You know, through this, most INFJs are highly sensitive and so it can be difficult to develop your extroverted sensing. It can be tough and demanding, stressful, and sometimes it might make you overwhelmed and anxious. So, the fact that you're still able to be there for your friends and to put yourself out there, the fact that you still push yourself to be there for other people and to put in energy and effort into going out into the real world is something I think you should appreciate about yourself. That's something that takes strength and so the fact that you're doing that is really impressive. And I think you should take the time to share yourself on and appreciate the fact that you do this because it takes often genuine compassion and love uh, genuine compassion towards the world that for an INFJ to go out and do these things, you know. It's, you do this because you care for other people and because you want to do something positive for the world. And so I think that's something that is really amazing about you as an INFJ. A third thing that I think you should appreciate about yourself as an INFJ is your capacity to uh, go out and connect with people and to stay connected to people even when it's difficult, you know. Because people are difficult to deal with, you know. It's not like people are all easy. The truth is, they're not. You know, it takes effort to communicate with other people and to stay connected and present with others. And conflicts are natural. You know, people are temperamental. Everyone has bad days. But you, as an INFJ, you make a good effort to stay connected to other people and to uh, continue to uh, love other people, even when it's tough and when, even when they make it difficult for you. So the fact that you continue to stay patient with other people, and the fact that you continue to uh, show yourself and connect with other people, I think that's something you should pat yourself on the back for doing. That's a great thing and something important. Now, there might be times where you lose that patience and when things don't go the way you want and when uh, you cut yourself off from other people or when, when it becomes too much. And that happens, you know. The truth is we all fall apart sometimes. So. The most important thing is that you're able to pick yourself back together. And overall, I found that INFJs are incredibly loyal people. So for the most part, INFJs are incredibly resilient and strong in, able, in being able to stay present with other people and to stay connected with others. Another thing I think you should appreciate about yourself is your introverted thinking. You know, despite the fact that this is the tertiary function, you know, the number doesn't say anything. The truth is, you have your own unique way of accessing introverted thinking. In some ways, you're better at it than an INTP or an ISTP would be. Often, the way you engage in this is very pure. An INFJ's introverted thinking is very, very pure. What I've found is, 
INFJs are able to be very, very self-critical. They're able to detach from themselves and to see themselves honestly and clearly. They can note these problems with themselves and they can correct the issues that they have. They can be very harsh on themselves when they evaluate themselves because their introverted thinking values truth so much. A very pure and very honest version of truth. INFJs are incredibly principled. They can hold on to principles and logical ideas and paradigms that are incredibly difficult to live by. And so an INFJ's capacity to live according to these principles, or at least to try to live according to these principles, is commendable. Finally, I want you to appreciate the fact about yourself that you're an introverted judging type. It's because you're an introverted judging type. Well, it's because you are so dependable and so responsible that you're an introverted and judging type. So the fact that you're able to stay strong and stay committed into things and the fact that you're able to take responsibility in social settings and with other people, I think that's something that you should appreciate and love about yourself. People really respect and appreciate somebody that can take responsibility and can own a situation and can own their own actions and behavior. So the fact that you do this as an INFJ, I think that's something really, really impressive. Now, if you want to learn more about the INFJ, don't forget to subscribe for all the coming videos this week. And I hope you're going to have a really amazing week. Thank you all so much for watching.